It just feels like pure luxury. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. It is that time of the year. 2023 has come and gone. So today's video is a roundup of my 2023 beauty favorites. Just like in previous years, this video is not only limited to products that launched or went viral this year. I also like to include products that maybe have been out for a little while, but maybe I didn't get around to discovering them until this year. So if you guys want to find out what I was loving in 2023 as far as hair, makeup, skincare, and this year I'm also adding in body care goes, grab a snack because this video is probably going to be a little bit long. But before we jump into it, I just want to welcome anyone who's new to my channel and wish you a happy 2024. I create content on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I would love it if you would subscribe, hit that notification bell. And for everyone watching, as always, please make sure to like this video. It lets me know to do more of these like roundup favorite type videos. And then also leave me a comment down below letting me know what some of your beauty favorites for 2023 were. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to try to just hit like the high points of each of these products just because this video can get a little bit long and I myself can get a little bit wordy, especially when I'm talking about things that I absolutely love. So I'm going to try to keep these as succinct as possible so that this video hopefully isn't a million years long. And I'm also going to film this in pieces slash sections. So if the lighting changes or the camera angle changes or anything like that, it's just because I'm probably switching out batteries or lights or anything in between each category. But let's go ahead and dive into the first category and that is going to be hair. I feel like this year was the year of hair care for me. I really tried and fell in love with a lot of new hair products and tools. So I've rounded up the things that I was absolutely loving. Starting out with a hair tool, which will be no surprise if you've been around my channel for a little while. This has been like the go-to hair tool for styling my hair this last year, and it is the Kalista Faux Blow Thermal Brush. So I originally found this one on TikTok, I believe. It went viral for a little bit as being like a dupe for the Amika brush. I will say they are very comparable in pricing, but the Amika brush just sold out so much. So this one was one of the alternatives, and I can say without a doubt, I absolutely love this one. So this one comes in three different colors, and I got this like light pink and yellow one. I think it's just like so fun and cheery but this will literally give you like a 90 supermodel blowout with your hair in like 15 minutes 20 minutes max sometimes if I'm just being really lazy and taking a lot of shortcuts I can give myself a blowout in 10 minutes with this and I just love this it just gives my hair so much bounce so much volume I get compliments on my hair every single time I use it and it's honestly just so easy to use it was a really quick learning curve for me and it's really made me fall back in love with the blowout hairstyle so the next item is a hair product that's been going viral I think for like a couple of years but I discovered it a little bit later in the game this year and it is the color wow I already like rubbed off the whole front I think it's like this super natural dream coat spray or something like that but I'm sure that you guys recognize this bottle if you're on hair talk at all I've used a lot of like softening and smoothing hair products in my lifetime and I did not think that this spray would be anything different but let me tell you the first time I used this on my hair I was absolutely blown away my hair has never been so sleek and so smooth it was seriously so soft and I seriously couldn't believe how good my hair felt like this spray is legit the real deal it's worth all the hype and this is with me already having like pretty straight sleek hair. I really was able to notice a difference the first time I used this and I've just been using it ever since. What's really nice about this is this size of the bottle is probably going to last me a couple of years. I only wash my hair one maybe two times a week if I have a lot of things going on and you're only supposed to use this every three to four shampoos so if you want to try this out maybe get the smaller bottle and if you love it that bottle will still even last you a long time but I can promise you you're going to fall in love with it once you see how your hair feels after you use this and blow dry your hair. Keep in mind this is activated with heat so make sure to use this when you you are going to use heat on your hair, but I promise you your hair is going to feel transformed. Next up is another hair tool, and I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing this, but I really truly cannot stop raving about this. I actually just ordered a second one, and I'm so excited for it to get here, but it is the Unbrush. Again, another item absolutely worth all the hype. I know that this went viral this year on TikTok, and there's a really, really good reason. This is so smooth on your hair. The first time you brush through your hair, you're going to notice right away there's so much less pull on your hair, and it's so much quieter because it's a lot gentler on your hair. It gets out all of your tangles really easily, but it doesn't rip through the hair or anything which is great for me because I have bleached hair so I already deal with enough breakage and I don't need my brush causing any more than that and this is hands down the most gentle brush I have ever used. Up next is a hair mask and this is the Day Monsoon Moisture Mask. This mask is so thick and luxurious like you guys can see the texture in there. It really helps to hydrate your hair and lock in the moisture so that your hair is so much smoother and healthier. Whenever I use this mask it honestly feels like a reset for your hair and if you process your hair at all you know how important it is to use moisturizing products in your hair because you need to reintroduce and lock in as much hydration as possible because processing your hair whether you're perming it, relaxing it, dyeing it, bleaching it, all of that stuff it's a lot on your hair and it can drive 
dry your hair out very, very fast. So making sure to have a good, thick, moisturizing mask in your rotation like this one is an absolute staple. Speaking of locking moisture into your hair, I just discovered the way this year. I know it's been around for a very long time and I have no idea why it's taking me so long to finally jump on board, but I have been trying out their products and there's two in particular that I want to mention that have become absolute essentials in my hair routine. So the first item is their leave-in conditioner. I always need to use a leave-in conditioner after I wash my hair because of what I had just stated before. My hair goes through a lot of processing to get it to be blonde. I know with my ponytail and my roots, you can't really tell from the front, but I am quite blonde. So anything and everything to lock in hydration and moisture is so essential for me. And I've really fallen in love with their leave-in conditioner. It leaves my hair so soft, but more than that, this is probably one of the most lightweight but effective leave-in conditioners that I have ever used. There's been a lot of times where I've used leave-in conditioners that make my hair feel so, so soft and so nice, but they feel really heavy on my hair and weigh it down. Versus there's been times where I found really nice lightweight leave-in conditioners that don't weigh my hair down, but my hair just doesn't feel as soft or as hydrated with them so I feel like the Waze leave-in conditioner has been the perfect balance of that and also too this bottle lasts me for a while this one's actually my backup bottle I'm still working on the first bottle that I got and I think I got that like in the beginning of 2023 so even though the way is a little bit pricey at least with the leave-in conditioner a little bit goes a long way so it makes it absolutely worth the money and then the other product from the way that I wanted to mention is their detox shampoo I've been on the hunt for a good detox shampoo because we have hard water here and it brasses my hair like crazy so in order to get rid of the brassiness every three washes I go in with a detox shampoo so I can pull out everything that's been deposited into my hair then I'll tone my hair with a purple conditioner then once I've pulled everything out of my hair with the detox shampoo I'll go in with a purple conditioner to tone it but the Waze detox shampoo has been my absolute favorite my hair feels the cleanest after I use this and it's not so harsh that it completely strips all the toner out of my hair I feel like I can sometimes get away with going ahead and washing with this and not going in with a toning conditioner afterwards but that is one thing that I always want to note whenever I say I love this for my blonde hair if you have blonde hair be careful about using detox or clarifying shampoos even though I'm using it to help get rid of brass the reason why it works is because I'm following it up with some kind of toning product if you use detox shampoos on their own and use them a lot they are gonna brush your hair because they're designed to pull as much out of your hair as possible so it's gonna pull your toner out of your hair so if you have bleach blonde hair always pair it with a purple conditioner or some kind of toning treatment up next for hair is another viral product and it is the verb ghost oil I slept on this so long and and I'm really mad at myself for doing so because this hair oil is so good. The reasons why I love it are kind of like similar to why I love the Way leave-in conditioner. It's the type of product that is just right for two things I'm looking for on it. It leaves my hair really shiny and sleek, but it's also really, really weightless. There's a lot of hair oils that I use out there that do leave my hair very shiny, very sleek, and very soft, but they're so heavy on my hair, but that's not the case with this one. I literally can use this like every single day, and I just use a little drop like that. I haven't applied any today. I usually actually apply it overnight and put my hair up in a bun but it really truly gives my hair such a nice shine and as you guys can see it doesn't leave my hair sticking to itself like a lot of other heavier oils do that can end up making your hair look really greasy or dirty so I really love this one and especially if you have fine hair and you have a hard time with hair oils that one would probably be a really good one for you then lastly for hair is a thermal spray believe it or not this is the first year that I've really actually paid attention to protecting my hair when I'm heat styling it in the past I've just really relied on my leave-in conditioner to protect my hair whenever I'm blow drying it and styling it but the problem is when I'm restyling it I wouldn't go in with anything to protect my hair from my curling iron or my straightener so I finally started applying a thermal spray this year and I can tell you my hair has been so much stronger I've noticed so much less breakage just overall this year I feel like the health of my hair has definitely improved and protecting it from heat when I'm styling has been a huge game changer for me so the thermal spray that I've been really loving this year is from the dry bar it's the hot toddy heat protectant spray I love this one because it's such a fine mist you guys can see it's just really easy to get all my strands and everything and it really does do a great job of protecting my hair from the heat like I said I've experienced a lot less breakage and after I style my hair using this it genuinely does feel a lot less damage I don't know if you've ever like styled your hair and it feels like you really genuinely ironed your hair my hair doesn't feel like that at all whenever I use this so if you're looking for a good effective thermal spray I really do recommend this one up next we've got my makeup favorites and I feel like makeup for me this year the theme really was quick and simple I did not want to be sitting at my vanity or 
in the bathroom doing my makeup for anything longer than 15 minutes, 20 minutes max. I feel like I really truly mastered the 10 minutes or less makeup look. I think my makeup today actually took me like somewhere around 11 or 12 minutes. So I was really into products this year that were really quick to use, um, anything that was kind of like multitasking and also stuff that was lighter. I'm still definitely more gravitating towards like the lighter makeup look. I have a feeling 2016 heavy makeup is gonna come back in the next few years, but for right now, I'm really basking in the whole less is more type of look. The first product I wanna mention is for my brows. This has been my go-to brow product. As you guys can tell, I'm still very, very much a fan of the laminated brow look. In keeping with the theme, I just don't wanna have to fuss a lot when it comes to brows, and I feel like the laminated brow look is just like such a quick and easy way to make your brows look a lot fuller and really define their shape. So I will start it off by saying I do laminate my brows, but the product that I use to like really style them is this one from TikTok. This is the Brow Shape by the brand By Ellie. It's an independent woman-owned brand, and I really, really love this stuff. So it's this like thick, clear pomade almost that's specifically designed for your brows, and a little bit goes a long way with this. I think I ordered this in March, and I still have most of the tab left, but it's what I'm wearing on my brows right now, and you guys can see, it really truly does hold my brows in place, and the way that I like get the shape and like really define them is by using her brush. So this is a dual-sided brush, also from By Ellie, and the way that I use this actually is I go in with just a plain spoolie, not this one. I saved the one on this brush for styling, but this brow shape does come with a set of spoolies, so I use one of those to just go in and apply the product. Then I'll comb through my brow hairs with this to take out any excess and also really to get my brow hairs to stand up nice and tall and defined. And then I go in with this spoolie, which I bent myself, and I use this to clean up my brow even further. And then I also use this one to shape it and go over this top edge to smooth everything down. These two together have been my favorite way to style my brows. I feel like my brows have never looked better. And what I love about this is that it actually holds all day. Up next is a concealer, and this is from the brand Winky Lux. So I still do love my Tarte Shape Tape for whenever I'm doing like a big event. I'm going to a wedding, doing family photos. I use it a lot when I'm filming. I didn't today. I just wanted to be as quick as possible to make my makeup today. But the concealer I'm about to show you is actually the concealer that I am wearing today. And it is the Winky Lux Peeper Perfect Under Eye Concealer. So I got this in PR and I really fell in love with this. I love the fact that it is a thinner, lighter formula. But as you guys can see, it still gives pretty good full coverage. The finish on this literally looks like a second skin. So that's why I like to use this on days where I'm not going full glam. Because with Tarte Shape Tape, I feel like I need to have a full face of makeup to really blend it into my skin versus this one if I want to have a lighter face of makeup or I just want to wear concealer alone this really looks like my skin while covering up my imperfections so as far as like everyday concealers go the peeper perfect one from winky Lux has been my absolute favorite then as far as applying concealer goes, I have not used anything else since I bought this sponge from Real Techniques. I absolutely love this. This is their two-in-one, I think it's like their miracle sponge or something like that. But the underside is designed for creams. You can also use it to blend your contour, which you guys can see I've used it for. But you can blend your concealer or your foundation with it. I will say I have used it for my foundation and it does leave a very flawless finish, but because it doesn't soak up a ton of product, you can look a little bit cakey using this. So I don't love it for foundation, but I do love it for concealer because I I try to apply as little concealer as possible anyways to begin with so I love the fact that this doesn't soak up too much of that product it leaves a super flawless finish and it's so so quick to blend out with this sponge like literally just like tap it a few times and it's blended in and then again this year's theme was quick easy makeup all I have to do after I apply my concealer to set it is flip the sponge over to the pink side pick up some powder and just press it in and then I'm done this has made things so much faster so much easier and I now literally cannot live without this sponge then up next is the Say Illuminating Glowy Super Gel Serum. So I really kind of shied away from wearing foundation or like BB creams and stuff. I've just really been relying on taking care of my skin and then I'll just use like a tinted sunscreen and then I'll just go in with a little concealer or bronzer, which usually helps to cover things up a little bit more. But because I'm not wearing foundation, I love wearing this gel on my skin because it gives my skin such like a luminous, glowy, radiant, healthy appearance and it is absolutely beautiful. So the color that I have is Star Glow and this one I think is the more new neutral of the two. So I'll do a little dot right here. A little bit goes a long way with this, but you guys can see it doesn't have a tint or anything, but it gives your skin this beautiful radiance. If you have dry skin, this would be absolutely stunning on you, but I will say I do have oily skin, and I feel like this adds the right amount and type of radiance that doesn't make me look greasy, but rather just makes me look really healthy and youthful. Up next is the one foundation that I have been using this year. I've really truly only been using foundations if I have a big event. Sometimes I'll wear it on a shoot 
day. Sometimes I won't. Like I said, today I'm not wearing foundation. I just didn't feel like it. But if I do wear foundation, the one that I've been reaching for is the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. I know that this has been around for a long time and I know that it was really hyped up when it first came out, I think a couple years ago. And again, it's just taken me a little while to get on board with it, but I have absolutely fallen in love with this foundation. I love the fact that it looks very skin-like. It doesn't look cakey or overly done. It really truly does look like my skin. And I also love the fact that it's a long wear foundation that actually delivers on that. Especially with me having oily skin, my skin can just eat makeup so, so fast and I'll look like I'm barely wearing anything. But this one actually does stay on my skin for most of the day, which is why as far as when I do want to wear foundations, this has been the one that I reach for. So I'm grabbing things randomly so we're bouncing around here, but up next I have a lip product. I just got into Tower 28 products this year and this one is the and this one is the Tower 28 Shine On. I think it's their jelly lip gloss or something like that. But I got mine in the color Cashew. This color, first off, is just like the perfect everyday color. I haven't been really wearing actual lipsticks and I really haven't like done lip liner as much lately so I've been really loving like a tinted lip gloss and I feel like this one gives just the right amount of tint so that I have a little bit of color to my lips because if I do a little bit of makeup on my face but I don't give my lips any color my lips can look really washed out so I feel like it gives what I need without going overboard and also this is so comfortable to wear. It feels super hydrating but it's not sticky or too thick. It's just like the right balance and exactly what you would want out of a lip gloss. Up next is another new brand that I finally decided to try out this year and that is Dibs Beauty. I've been seeing this brand all over social media and I never got it because it's not sold at Sephora or Ulta which is where I buy most of my makeup from but I put in an order at Revolve recently so I decided to throw in their Desert Duo stick and this has been one of my go-tos for like everyday makeup. So as the name suggests it's a dual sided stick so it has blush on the one side and then a bronzer on the other side and the creaminess of these two is so so nice they blend out so well but they still leave the right amount of pigment so you're still getting definition and you're still getting like a nice rosiness in your cheeks and also in keeping with my theme for makeup this year I love the fact that it's dual sided it's very easy to apply then flip and then apply again it blends out so nicely and it looks pretty natural so I got mine in number four which is not so basic for the blush and then ice chai for the bronzer but if you're traveling anytime soon and you like want to like pack a small thing of makeup to do makeup really quickly on the plane when you land or something or just want to consolidate your products for traveling in general this one would be a really really good one to bring on your trip all right we've acquired a visitor you guys can't see him but He's down here, Leo's here. So if you hear some uneven hopping around, that's him. If you've never been to my channel before, I have a three-legged dog and he's trying to maneuver himself around the camera for some reason. But anyways, back to the makeup products. Um, oh, mm, whoa, you're the one, you're trapping yourself, babes. You're trapping yourself. I've been loving that blushes are in for the last couple years. And this year I really fell in love with the Fenty Freestyle Cream Blushes. I love the formula on these. These are so, so blendable. Sorry, I'm on petting duty right now as well. Anyways, these are super blendable, but they're also really highly pigmented. I absolutely love blush, but it breaks my heart because blush is always the first thing to disappear on me. But these ones seem to last the longest on my skin. So if you have that same type of problem where blush just disappears on you within like a second. Definitely check out the Fendi ones. And I actually bought two this year. I got one for the summertime and then one for more of the fall time. So my summer and spring color is Daiquiri Dip. And it's this like really bright, fun, corally, orangey pink color. I know that it looks scary in the packaging, but honestly you just like apply a little at a time and it gives you just like such a fun youthful color on your cheeks. And then for the fall and the winter time, I've really been loving Rose Latte. So this one's more of like a deep, deep brownie pink and this one looks absolutely gorgeous on my skin. And I know that it looks like it can pull super brown in the palette, but when you apply it to your face, I feel like more of like the rosy tones on this color come out. And it's just such a good like neutral, deeper color for the fall and the winter time. Then next we've got a couple mascaras. The first one went viral due to controversy, but I will say it is actually really, really good. I don't know if the controversy was just like a marketing stunt or what, but it didn't need it because this mascara is amazing. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lashes right now. And I love how long and defined it makes my lashes look. And it is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I've always been a fan of the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I feel like this one is like that one, but 10 times better. I get the waterproof because my lashes are very thin and they lose their curl really easily. So I always have 
have to use waterproof to lock in the curl. But yeah, I tried this out without much expectations because I expected it to kind of suck based on the whole controversy with this. And it turned out that it's an amazing mascara and it's actually replaced the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara for me. The next mascara that I want to mention is one that I got in PR and I'm so grateful that I did because I don't think I ever would have even thought to like look into this mascara. And it really has become my go-to everyday mascara whenever I'm just doing like a natural face. And I just want to like add a little something. And it is the KVD Beauty Full On Long and Defined Tubing Mascara. So as far as like doing like a little bit of makeup for every day, my rule is to just keep it extremely natural looking and to only use things that I don't need to use makeup remover to remove. So that's why I don't like to use my telescopic mascara daily because I need makeup remover to get rid of it since it's waterproof. But I don't want to use non-waterproof because I hate it when mascara streaks and stuff. So I'm so glad that I got this tubing mascara because this has been the absolute answer to exactly what I was looking for for every day. With tubing mascara, all you have to do to remove it is use warm water and it'll literally slide off your lashes because like the name suggests, it just forms a tube around your lash. So you don't have to use makeup remover with it. You can remove it with water, but it's not gonna streak. It's not gonna flake and it lasts all day on your lashes. And I have used other tubing mascaras before and I like them, but I really do love this one because it really makes my lashes look nice and long and it does define them pretty well. I need to go an extra step to really get the definition that I'm looking for, which I'll show you guys next. But if you haven't heard of this mascara because it did just come out this year, I would suggest definitely looking into it. Then like I said, I get pretty good definition with that mascara, but I need to take it a step further in order to get the definition that I'm looking for and also to help like declump it. And I recently discovered lash combs this year and I am obsessed. It really changes the game for my lashes whenever I'm using a mascara that's a little bit thicker, like the tubing mascara. When it comes to the telescopic mascara, I don't need to use a lash comb because the brush on that is really defining. But for any other mascaras, I always feel like my lashes look a little bit too thick. So I've really been loving lash combs and I'm obsessed with this one from Tweezerman. So what I love about this is that the teeth on these really truly go in between each individual lash and really works to define them. My lashes look nice and separated and so long whenever I use this lash comb. And what's also really lovely about this is that it's folding. So you can fold the teeth away because they can feel kind of sharp, especially if you like reach for it and you're not paying attention. So I love the fact that the teeth fold in for safety and also for sanitary reasons because you are using this so close to your eye, you don't want it just like floating around gathering bacteria. So it's nice that it folds in to protect it. Up next is another lip gloss and this lip gloss has been a favorite of a lot of people for many years and again it's another one that I just finally decided to try this year and it is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Gloss. So this really truly does plump your lips so I'd love to use it especially when I have a little bit more makeup on and I want my lips to look like nice and pouty. I usually go over my lip with this lip gloss. I have this one in two different colors. I have it in Hot Toddy and White Russian. I'll use White Russian when I already have a color on because that one can kind of pale me a little bit but I do like it because since it is so light it enhances the pout even more but like I said I do need to wear a color underneath it or else I'm just gonna look washed out but if I'm wearing a little bit more of a natural color or nothing on my lips at all I love hot toddy this color is so neutral but it still has a little bit of pink in it so it really helps to keep me from looking washed out I will say though this one is definitely thicker than the tower 28 gloss so it's not quite as comfortable as that but it's still not like overly sticky or overly thick it's just enough that's worth it to sacrifice in order to get a more plump looking lip Okay, this next product I think honestly might be my absolute favorite product of 2023 as far as makeup goes. Again, it's a product that's been around for a while that I just decided to try this year and absolutely fell in love with. And it is the YSL Touche Eclat. This is like their Radiant Touch Concealer Pad. So I wouldn't even really say that this is like fully a concealer. It's not super thick or cakey or anything. It wears very, very naturally on your skin. I don't even powder or set it after I'm done because it legitimately melts into your skin and is completely undetectable. So a lot of the time I will wear this on a bare face if I just feel like my dark circles are just like way too dark that day I'll put this on and I'll only wear this and I instantly look more awake and my eyes and face just look so much brighter But here's what it looks like It just has a little brush applicator and the product comes directly out of that And then I just apply underneath and then I take my ring finger because it's the weakest and I just press it into my skin And it melts right in it's completely undetectable as far as appearing like product on my face But it really does brighten up my eyes so much so honestly when I'm vlogging most days since I purchased this I am I'm wearing this even though it looks like I'm not wearing any makeup. Then the last makeup product before we move on to skincare and body care is one that I discovered pretty recently. It is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand, specifically the contour wand. Oh my god, I 
absolutely love this. I have no desire to try the Charlotte Tilbury ones because these ones are incredible. So I got mine in the medium tan color and this color is so perfect as far as like defining my features goes. This formula is incredibly blendable and I love the fact that it's like a radiant formula so that my contour doesn't look too chalky or cakey. It actually kind of gives a little bit more of a natural appearance because there is a little bit of radiance to it versus going in with a matte or powder contour. If you're not wearing a lot of other makeup, it can kind of just sit on top of the skin versus this one that just kind of melts into the skin and just makes you look kind of naturally defined. So if you've been curious about these contour wands, don't bother with the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't think you're gonna miss out on it. Definitely try out the e.l.f. ones for a fraction of the price. Okay, my bad. I had one more makeup product and it's a lip product. I feel like as far as lips go, this has been the year of glossy lips and also lip stains. And especially in the summertime, we saw a huge rise in lip stains. And I feel like with this like lighter makeup era, lip stains are the answer to liquid lipsticks because they're long wearing, but as opposed to liquid lipsticks, they're not super thick and cakey on the lips. The lip stain that's been my go-to this year is actually a $6 lip stain and it's from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is their glossy lip stain. And you guys, this lip stain is so good. So this one is in the color, I think spice see Sienna. Yeah, this is the red one. I love this one because you get the best of both worlds. So it starts out kind of like a tinted gloss. And then once it dries, it dries into like a nice lip stain. It's not overly pigmented and it's not too sheer. It just kind of sits at the right level of color on your lips. And this color in particular for Spicy Sienna, I get compliments on every single time I wear it. But this one is so comfortable. I love the fact that it does start out as a glossy finish because it hydrates and moisturizes my lips. But then I don't have to worry about reapplying because it turns into a stain. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Now we are gonna move on to skincare and body care. I went ahead and combined those categories because honestly, as far as skincare goes, I don't have a ton of new things. I feel like I really hammered in my skincare routine over the last couple years, but I have like found a couple of things that I've added into it. But this year, for some reason, I got really, really into body care. So I have a few products for that that I wanna share as well. But starting out with one of the serums that I've been loving this year, this is the Lancome. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the French part of this word. HCF Triple Serum. So this is a hyaluronic acid niacinamide for lewic acid. So this one's really cool. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see, but the pump on here actually has three holes. So all three serums come out at the same time and then you just kind of blend them together and apply them to your face. And I haven't touched up my Botox since summer and I feel like I haven't really needed to. I feel like this serum and then also the other Lancome serum that I'm gonna show you guys are just like really, really powerful and have been really helping to keep the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles at bay. So I will say, while this one is very pricey, I would repurchase it because I feel like it's done a lot of work on my skin as far as anti-aging and keeping a youthful appearance goes. The other serum I wanted to mention from Lancome is the Advanced Genifique Youth Concentrating Serum. So I use the triple one at night and then I use this one in the morning and I feel like the combination of those two has made me feel like I'm not in a dire need to touch up my Botox. I definitely still want to, but I haven't felt like 911 emergency, let's get me in there, let's get me injected or anything like that. I just noticed since using this serum and that serum, especially combined together, my skin has just had a much smoother appearance. Again, I've just seen a reduction in the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And even though Lancome skincare is expensive, I feel like it's definitely worth the price because these actually deliver on what they say they're going to. Up next is a face mask that I got in a partnership, but whenever I feel like my skin is just getting too greasy or like I'm breaking out and stuff, I do love to use clay masks, but I just feel like clay masks, you like need to have them sit on your skin for like 20 minutes. So I end up forgetting to use them because I'm like, when do I have 20, 30 minutes to spare where I'll actually remember to use it? Or like there's so many times I like mean to use it before I shower, but I get so excited to shower that I just forget. So I've really been loving this one from No. This is Vanessa Hudgens brand and this is their Glacial Bay Clay Mask. So this is actually made from clay that comes from a glacier, but this one claims to improve impurities, tighten pores and restore radiance, which I definitely feel like it does. I feel like my skin is so much tighter afterwards and when this dries you can definitely see the impurities kind of like pulling out of your skin but what I really like about this is that this only needs to be worn for four minutes so if I just like realized last minute I need to do a mask I've usually got like four or five minutes to spare or if I realize in the middle of my shower that I forgot to do a mask beforehand usually I'm trying to let my conditioner or hair mask sit in my hair for a little while so I'll hop out of the shower and apply this and let both sit for four minutes and then hop back in and wash everything out so I love the fact that it's convenient it's quick but it's still super effective Speaking of quick masks, whenever I want a little bit more radiance to my skin or my skin is feeling uneven or dull, I really, really love this one from Youth to the People. This is their Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. It's an instant microdermabrasion enzyme facial. So you can definitely feel the microdermabrasion in this when you're applying it. It has these little tiny microbeads that you can feel exfoliating your skin. But again, this one is a quick mask. I think this one's like 
three minutes. Yeah, leave it on for two to three minutes. So again, if you forget last minute that you wanted to do a mask, you can throw this one on. It just takes a couple minutes and wash it right off. And I'm not even kidding. My skin always has the most beautiful glow whenever I use this. Used to the people is expensive, but again, it's another one that's worth it to invest in for your skincare because I just love the way that my skin looks after I use this. Moving into some body stuff, the first thing that I got is from Osea. This is their Andaria Algae Body Oil. I have never used a body oil before, and let me tell you, in the summertime, I was slathering my skin in this. My skin can get very dry in the summertime because you guys know I go to the beach a lot and I lay out a lot, or I like to dunk in the seawater really quick, and that can really dry out my skin. Like after I return from the beach, I just feel like my skin has been through the ringer. So I love to soothe my skin with some of this body oil after my shower. I just feel like it locks my lotion in, and then also also the scent on this, oh my god, it smells so good. It just smells like bright and citrusy and fresh. So besides like waking up your skin, it also like wakes you up a little bit. But if you're someone who has been wanting to try body oils, definitely check this one out. I think that this one's worth it. So this one is a seaweed infused body oil that delivers a rush of antioxidant mineral hydration that softens, smooths, and leaves skin glowing. And I can tell you guys, my skin looks so, so glowy after I use this. I always wanna be in shorts or a skirt after I apply this because my skin looks so good. Then up next is a body lotion, and this is the body lotion that I apply whenever I shower at night. I've talked about it a lot before, but I love to use lavender products at night because it helps me unwind and relax so that I can hopefully fall asleep better. But the one that I've been loving for my body lately is from the brand Being French. I think that this came out at Target this year or maybe like in the last couple years, and I've like slowly been trying their stuff, but their body lotions are made with mood science technology. So this lavender cloud is literally designed to make you unwind and put you in a more restful state, and you can really smell the lavender in this one sometimes I get like lavender lotions that like do smell like lavender but it doesn't smell like a good lavender but this one definitely does the other scents in here are milky sandalwood and sweet cardamom and I feel like that combination just kind of gives us like warm relaxing type of scent and then also too the actual formula on this body lotion is the perfect balance of thickness it's thick enough that you feel very moisturized especially if you're like wearing this to go to sleep you know you want to feel like your body is completely moisturized because I don't know about you guys but I cannot fall asleep if I feel dry so this lotion Lotion really does provide that and kind of locks in your moisture and hydration so that you can have a nice good restful night of sleep. Up next is a perfume from Victor and Rolf. This one is their Good Fortune perfume. I think it just came out this year. They sent it to me for a TikTok collaboration, but you guys, this has quickly become my go-to perfume for every day. It's like the perfect balance of musk and just like a little bit of floral and like warmth and stuff this seriously smells so amazing and what's funny is like i knew that i was gonna love it because one of my past go-to everyday scents was flower bomb from victor and rolf so they just make great scents in general but this one i think is my absolute favorite this one's definitely got a little bit more musk and warmth than flower bomb which is why i really like it especially during this fall and winter time but i still think that it's light enough to wear during like the spring and the summer so i'll probably be wearing this year round and also too can we talk about this bottle just absolutely gorgeous i love all the purple accents with the gold. Just stunning packaging for an even more stunning scent. Then lastly is a body wash and body lotion set that honestly I had no business purchasing. I mean it's not like crazy out of control expensive but these are definitely more expensive than getting my body wash and body lotion from Target. Especially the body lotion. This thing was so expensive and it's so small. You guys will see in a second. But it's the salt and stone body wash and body lotion in the scent Santal and Vetiver. This scent holy crap. Oh my god. This is like one of my favorite scents I've ever smelled. It's just so clean but still has like enough body and like a little bit of a musk as you guys can tell I like musky scents. Yeah it's clean but musky and it's just absolute perfection and honestly whenever I use these in the shower and then after the shower it just feels like pure luxury. So first off the packaging on these is so simple but still somehow very luxurious. I started off with the body wash. I don't know what prompted me to get this body wash. I got it off of Revolve and anyways it came in and I smelled it and I was instantly in love. I do have to say the body wash price wise I don't really have a problem with I mean looking at it compared to my head this is a good size it's gonna last me for a little bit but this freaking body lotion look how tiny this is especially compared to the other one like if you're using these together the body lotion is gonna run out so much faster and I feel like you use more body lotion than you do body wash but anyways I still would repurchase the body lotion because I like to layer the scent I want it to stay on me for as long as possible but this body lotion this thing is so thick and creamy like you guys can see it's a very thick formula and and it just, again, it feels like luxury on my skin. I don't know like how else to describe it. Oh my God, and then the scent. I just, really it's the scent that sells me on this, but 
in general. The product itself on both of these is also really good. Like this body wash gets like super sudsy and I just feel super clean after I use it. But anyways, if you're looking to elevate your shower experience, look into Salt and Stone, specifically the scent. Again, the scent is the perfect balance of clean and musk and it just literally smells like luxury. All right, you guys. Well, this video has taken me over an hour to film and I hope that it didn't turn out to be over an hour, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut up because I've just been talking for so long. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you and I will see you guys very soon again in my next video. Bye.